Discord.js just released a brand new custom status feature and today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually use this feature within your Discord.js version 14 bot. So we can just go ahead and get started. So basically we have a user right here and as you can see this is a status. So if I were to go over to my settings here and if I were to go ahead and set a status then as you can see here my status is going to be displayed as high. So typically for a presence or activity on a Discord bot it's going to display as playing a game, watching something, streaming, doing whatever. And that's going to be displayed down here. It's not actually going to be displayed as a status. But with this new feature from Discord.js that was just released in their latest update, you can actually set the custom status as an activity or a presence. All right, so over in the code, you're going to go ahead and go up to your terminal here. And once you've gone ahead and created a new terminal, just go ahead and do npm i Discord.js, and then we can do at latest. So we're going to go ahead and install the latest version of Discord.js now. If you do not do this, it's not going to work because this is in their brand new update. So if you don't actually install that update, then it's not going to work at all. So for the code, we're going to go over to our events and we can go to our ready.js. Now you can actually go ahead and do this in a client.on event. If you were to go over to your index.js, the event would be events.client ready. So if you're going to use a client.on event, this would be the event you're going to use. But we can just go ahead and do it within our ready.js. So the first thing we're going to go in and do is we're going to do const and we can get our activity type. Types. And then we can do equals require and we're going to go and get our discord.js package. Actually, I think it's going to be activity type just so you know. So then after doing that, we're going to go into our client.on event into our module.exports. And you can actually do this in any part of the event, but I'm going to do it above our console.log just so that when we get to console.log, we know the status is working uh, because that's obviously the basic sequence of coding. So there's a couple of different options for actually doing this. The two that we're going to be focusing on is the presence and the activity. So you're going to use the presence method if you want to set a status and you also want to change your client status or presence as in online, idle, or do not disturb. So you can change multiple things within your presence. We're going to be using the activity type if you just want to set the custom status. So the first one that we're going to do is the activity because that's just for the custom status. Then we're going to go over the presence. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we can do client.user.setActivity. And we're actually going to go ahead and open this up. So the type is going to be equal to our activity type.custom. See, that's the brand new activity type. We can get our name here. And this is going to be anything you want it to be. This could be just custom status. And this is actually not going to be the status. This is going to be only shown up in your API call or if you were to console.log this value here. I'm actually going to show you that in just a second. But you just don't have to worry about what you name it. Just give it a string value. We're going to add a comma and we're going to make our state. This is going to be the custom status. So we can go ahead and put pretty much anything in here. I'm going to go ahead and put in some random emoji. And we can say custom status working just like that. So this is all we actually have to do for our custom status. So if we go ahead and turn our bot on here and we were to go over to our discord server, as you can see, our bot has the custom status working status with that palm tree emoji. So this is working just as it should. So the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and give this a variable name so we can just do status and we can go ahead and make this a brand new variable. Then we're going to go ahead and console.log our status variable and we're actually going to have to do it json.stringify so we can do json.stringify and we're going to go ahead and get our status because it is an object so i'm actually going to go ahead and put this at the bottom or below the client don on just so that we can see it a little bit easier and we can actually go ahead and turn our bot on so as you can see here this is going to be the object that we receive from the api when we actually go ahead and make this request so our status is going to be online. Our activities is going to be our name, which is custom status. So as you can see here, this is the name. It's going to be custom status, and it's also within that object. Then we have our type. We have our URL, which is null, details null. And we have our state, which is actually going to go ahead and be displayed on the Discord client. So like I mentioned before, the name is only visible within the API and the state is visible within the Discord client as the custom status. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant here. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to go ahead and come down here and we can just go ahead and comment this out. We can go ahead and do client that user that set presence and we can go ahead and open this up here. We're going to get our activities and then we can go ahead and open this up with some curly braces and brackets. We're going to go ahead and start off by getting our type, which is going to be the exact 
exact same. It's going to be our activity type custom. We can get our name. This is still going to be the exact same. So this is going to be our custom name, whatever you want to make it. And then we can get our state. And this is also going to be the exact same as it was before. So we can just go ahead and get custom status displayed. So now that we've gone ahead and written this in, we can actually come up here and we're going to go ahead and get our status. And we can just go ahead and set this to the status you want. So it's online, uh, invisible, idle, and do not disturb. So we're just going to go ahead and get idle because that's the most distinct one. And we can just go ahead and add a comma. Now we can actually go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see in our console here, we're going to get the same object. Only this time our status is going to be idle instead of online. And our activities are going to be the exact same with the name being exposed in the endpoint and the state being the custom status that's going to be displayed for the client. If we go over to the Discord client here, as you can see, we have our custom status displayed as our custom status. This is not an activity. It's not playing anything. This is just a simple custom status. And as you can see, our Discord client presence is actually idle. So we did set it to idle instead of online. So this is the only reason you would want to use presence instead of activity. Activity is just going to be setting the custom status, whereas presence, you can set the custom status as well as your presence. So you can change it to whatever you want here as well. So it's actually really, really simple. That is how you can make a custom status for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.